Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my weekly plan with me and my personal Erin Condren. As you can see, it's it's pretty big. It's getting kind of crazy. Um, but this planner cover is from Stylish Planners, and it's the one that I have on just on my personal Erin Condren. Um, this is the like the 2015, 2016. Like I don't remember exactly which year, but it's the older Erin Condren. It's the one that they came out with before. They came out with the um, neutral and colorful. So I'm going to be planning this week, which is the 10th through the 16th, and my planner's so big that I need to kind of redivide a few pages because that's crazy. Okay, so the kit that I'm going to be using today is the Scribble Prints Co. Forever Kit, and it's the mini kit. And this is I think like the older format is before she made a few adjustments. So here is the freebie that you get. I am going to be using the glitter headers. Here are, you have just a few headers and then just a few little things. Four patterned and then four solid half boxes. Your um, full boxes. You have your weekend banner, two drops, flags, icons, heart checklists, as well as weekly ombres, I can't ever remember the name of those. And then um, you have your bottom washi and washi, which this is matte, so this is before she switched to the glossy washi. And I do know that I am going to need, um, I think one ombre heart checklist, I think is what I'm going to need. So I'm going to go pull that real quick. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone and pulled my June colors. These are the old June colors um, from Scribble Prints Co. And there may be a few other things that I need, like I may need a couple of these appointment labels. So I'm actually going to keep those out, as well as this freebie. Um, and I may use a couple of the, I may use some of these mini flags, I don't know. Um, but so I'm going to pull those out and then going to pull these various um, checklists out and then the ombre heart checklists, the half boxes, and I think I think that's it because all this is the glam planner and I don't think the colors match up as well. No. Okay, so that's what I'm going to pull out. And I know some people don't like it when I pull like additional things in because you know like well, I don't have that, but I like I I really needed that <laughs> that extra ombre heart checklist. So I'm just going to leave all that stuff up to the side and just move my kit up there. And I'm going to start with the bottom washi. And I'm going to try and do this without flipping my planner back and forth too much. So I'm just going to line the bottom washi up at the very bottom of the line instead of lining it up with like the instead of lining it up like at the towards the bottom of the page like um, with this one I'm like with this top line I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up right here and I will say I miss the matte washi the glossy washi is gorgeous um, and I love that all the colors match but I really miss the matte washi because it's so easy to pick up and put down so next I am going to use the glitter headers and I think what I'm going to do is actually use these three, like I'm going to do um, one row of each, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use all of these, I think. And then I just might pull in the other ones. Um, for something else. So I'm just going to pull off those. And I'm going to pull off the reds because I'm actually going to put the reds up at the top, I think, um, to match them. They're the closest thing to matching the. And I'm going to have to do this. Do I want to do that? Because the. No, I'm going to put the red in the middle. I was going to get them as close to like this up here as possible, but eh, it'll be fine. 
So I'm going to do the red in the middle. I'm going to do the teal green up at the top. And then I'm going to do like the periwinkle purple on the bottom. Oops. So this, this spread, the, excuse me, is actually going to be a white space spread. I don't I don't do a whole lot of those, especially not in my personal planner. Um, but I've just, like, I've been holding on to this kit. And so I really want to do it. See, when's the last time I did a white space spread? I don't know that I ever have. as far back as like May and I don't see where I've done a white space. So this will be the very first white space spread that I'll do in this planner. So that's exciting. Um, I think I've done them in my rewind and I think I've done them in like my extra plan with like my extra planner but I didn't I thought that I had done at least one in here but apparently not. So, and I didn't used to like white space planning, especially in the Erin Condren. I just, I felt that it was, um, I just, for me, it didn't work out, but I did one in one of my other Erin Condren planners and just loved the way that it looked. And so I've slowly, emphasis on slowly, um, I have been trying to work my way towards um, figuring out how I like the ouch, the white space spreads to look. The one thing I I really hate so random and not talking about uh, white space is I hate that how when my planners. Since my planner's gotten so full that like it sits, do you see this? It sits crooked. I hate that. Ouch. But it's gonna be so sad to move into another planner because I've been using this one for so long and there's like this is the planner that I started. Um, like I started it in 2000 and. I started doing a little bit of planning, but I didn't stick with it. Um, and so I really started it, like in the beginning of this year, I was doing like some printables. And then I think it was like February when I made my first order. Um, I think like February, March was the first time that I started really using kits. There's been no turning back. Ouch. And by the way, I'm obsessed with glitter headers. I jumped on that bandwagon and I have no problem with it. Okay, so let me flatten this back out again. Okay. So I'm done with the glitter headers for now. And now I want to put in muffle boxes. Okay, so I'm going to leave my quote box. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put my quote box in. upside down again and I love this quote um, it says we will be known forever by the tracks we leave I really like that I don't have a habit tracker crud I'm gonna have to get my multicolor stuff for a, a habit tracker okay anyway back to this I'm just going to very sporadically put down full boxes. Um, no particular rhyme or reason to where they're going or why they're going there. Nothing like that. I'm just putting down some full boxes.
these full boxes too. I say that as I cannot get one straight. I may put the glitter header on crooked. Put our header on a little crooked. I did. I can see it. Close enough. While I'm upside down, I might as well put these on upside down. Right. So next I want to do my heart checklist. And what I think I might do is I think I might actually use the, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to pull these, Ouch. give it up. So I'm just going to randomly place these, hopefully, with the matching glitter header. I don't know that that's going to work, I didn't plan that out, but I'm going to try. I think it worked out pretty well. I was able to do it. So usually I wouldn't use a full art checklist, um, but since I don't really know what my week consists of, I'm just going to um, just leave all of them down. So okay, Monday, this is where I'm going to need some of those um, appointment labels like I was talking about. So these are just on some freebies. Oh, I do have, I do have a habit tracker. It's close enough, so I will use that. So um, you can use the, I know she has the skinny appointment labels, the habit tracker and the regular appointment labels. She has those in multicolor, so if you have those, you can use those to take out an implant. You don't have to use the um, July or the June themed colors. This just happened to be what I have. I don't have a whole lot of her multicolor stuff, so. Um, I'm going to use a skinny and a regular appointment size label. Whoops. A regular size appointment label. So I think I'm going to use this one here. And then I'm going to face the skinny one this way. I hope that's... Is that straight? Yeah, that's straight. Okay. No, that's not straight. Plus, I want to move it up just a hair higher. Okay. Let me see if I can do it this way. I don't know. That's not straight. I don't know why I'm having the hardest time getting stickers straight. It's not like I've never laid down a sticker before. I do it all the time. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get it straight, Caitlin. That's close enough. 
that's as good as it's going to have to get. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this little yellow um, flag and I'm going to pull out my Once More With Love stickers. I'm going to pull out the here we go. I'm gonna pull out pull out these little like little designing munchkins like they're on the computer, and I'm just gonna put those put that up beside it because I need to do a lot of designing this week. Okay, Tuesday. I don't really think that I have anything, so I'm going to just do the same thing with the munchkin. Um, and I think, do I want to, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to continue using the red ones just because, um, uh, it works out. Okay, so on Wednesday I have another appointment, and then I'm going to do a... Blue teardrop. And I'm going to do the. Let me go back into my Munchkin stash. There we go. I'm gonna get my YouTube, like my film edit and upload Munchkin, and I'm just going to just grab a little filming girl. I use. I can use any of these. Um, to mark filming, editing, and upload. Like, I don't have to use the specific ones, but I really wanted to use the filming girl. So I'm going to do that on Wednesday because that's a great day for me to film. Thursday. I don't have anything Thursday either. What? Crazy. I'm not even using my half boxes. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, Thursday, I don't know what I have going on. Um... I'll probably do another design day. So let's do a red. With another. Actually, no, I need to be cutting Thursday at the latest. So. I think I have my shop munchkins here. Actually, I need my munchkins. Here they are. Okay, so here are my munchkins, and I definitely need to be cutting um, on Thursday. So I'm just going to put the little cutting munchkin here. And then. I need to mark my, oh crap, I forgot to mark band practice, okay. Actually, you know what, I'm going to take this skinny, can I do this? Okay, that worked. So I'm going to raise up this teardrop just a touch. And then I'm going to do this skinny appointment label just right here on the bottom. Then I'm going to use a music munchkin to mark band practice. Now back to Friday. Friday we don't have anything. But Friday's going to be new releases. So I am going to grab a purple half box. And then I'm going to get one of the... And again, you haven't seen these hauled yet, but... Um, I'm going to use one of these little new release munchkins. I'm going to use the purple one. And then Saturday. Saturday is going to be a cleaning day. 
Um, so I'm gonna use a yellow month or yellow half box here. I'm gonna leave enough space just in case anything else is to happen. So again, back into my little munchkins. I think my favorite munchkin, my favorite cleaning munchkin is the one with the little spray bottle. So I'm just going to put cleaning day right there. And then that Sunday we have a birthday. Um, we have band practice. Okay. Payday, band practice, and then... Let's do a green half box. Okay. So I'm going to put this down pretty low here. I'm going to put the, um, that one pretty high up, and then I'm going to do this appointment label this way. So where's what I need? I'm going to come in here and grab the balloons. The birthday in. I'm gonna get my music munchkin, and then do I have a payday munchkin? Or I have, I have a, that's a big icon. Let's see, do I have a mini icon? Yeah, I've got a mini icon. So I'm gonna just use the little yellow um, money sign for payday. Okay, I'm back over here. I have an appointment. So I'm just going to use this little mini A over here Monday. I have a Okay, so I'm going to use a little alarm clock for the 10th and I'm going to use little running guy for this appointment. Do I need to get my weekend banner? I do my weekend banner down here. I found that I really enjoy doing my weekend banner down here so it keeps me um, to where I have plenty of space up here. So I think that's it as far as like in the middle of the week goes. The next thing I just need to do is the sidebar. So I'm going to grab just this um, habit tracker. It's close enough in color. I'm just going to put it here and then I am going to use the um, yellow glitter headers in between these. So I'm going to take the red habit tracker and I'll mark my dinners with it. I'm going to do another header. I should have done one right here. Do that. Am I going to be able to get that up? Get that up. Yes. All right. So glitter header. Habit tracker. Glitter header. Weekly ombre. Ooh. Glitter header. Another weekly ombre. Glitter header. Then I'm going to go into, um, I can make a little checklist. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of pulling out um, anything from over here, I think I'm going to take the little hearts. And I'm going to do this as like a little to buy checklist. Um, I 
or just a checklist of something in general. Actually, I'm going to do yell first. I'm crooked. I got crooked when I started laying those down individually. Upside down to go, guys. Upside down. I'm off again. I gum it. The green one's making me off. There we go. Still, I'm a little off, but that's okay. It's so gonna take a final. Glitter header and just put it. Actually, I'm gonna need two. And I'll just trim. Actually, I don't need to trim because I'm just gonna layer it. Okay. Let me see if I can. I think I'm gonna, instead of doing the hearts because I've pulled them up about 5,000 times, I think I'm gonna do the asterisks and really try and get my sidebar straight. Okay, so now that the bottom straight, I'm going to do the red, the yellow, purple, and the blue. So I'm just going to pull this glitter header up and then just kind of... It's crooked, it's all kinds of crooked, but that's okay. So, I think that that is everything. The only thing left to do now is to fill it out. And if you guys have been watching my videos recently, then you know that I've been in love with this Papermate Ink Joy Gel 0.5 pen in black. It's by far become one of my favorite pens. Like I have a whole little, thing of pins just sitting right over here, but this is the one that I seem to reach for. So I'm going to fill out now what I can. And then let's see. Let's see. We're gonna just do I think I'm gonna track vitamins. Again and then I'm gonna just write dinners next week. And then to buy. So here I have so we have band Okay, so that is everything. All right, so that is everything filled out as best as I can possibly get it filled out. Um, 
My husband, I think, may have something here, but I don't know how to mark it yet, so I'm not going to mark it just yet. So I'm going to show you everything that I have left in the kit. And this is crazy that I have this much left over from this kit. So the freebie, the only thing that I used is the balloons, but I could go in and if there's nothing else going on, I may put in like the dishes, the spray bottle, and the vacuum um, just to kind of mark what I do clean if I do like whatever it is that I clean um, or laundry and I may go in and just put the laundry basket in on a day that I have a very heavy laundry day. I have one of the yellow glitter headers left. I have all of the header, the random headers, all of the TVs, all of the packages and I would have had all of the hearts had I not had to keep pulling them up. And then I only used three of the solid half boxes. I have some icons, three teardrops and a flag left and then all of the washi other than the bottom washi. That's what I have left of this kit. So I'm going to store that. I store this back here in this back pocket until I'm done with the week. So things that I used that were not included in the kit were just some of the, um, I used the skinny and regular appointment size labels from Scribble Prints Co. And these were again on freebies, but you can pick up the multicolor um, appointment labels. Um, these were from the, the June colors, but again, you can pick up the skinny, the habit tracker, and then the regular appointment labels from her in multicolor. And then I used some munchkins because what is a planner spread without munchkins? I used the music munchkins, the shop owner munchkins, the cleaning munchkins, new release munchkins, the computer or designing munchkins, and then the YouTuber munchkins. So that is what I used. And again, this is what the finished spread looks like and I love it. I think I'm going to be doing more wide space spreads. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any more planner videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!